Hi, I'm John. I'm a psychotherapist. We ask the internet for questions and thank you very much internet and you good people out there. You've come up with lots of questions about your mental health, emotional health and about your well-being. And let's just have a quick look at the latest question. Ooh, interesting one because I was affected by this at times in my life. I keep failing at my exams and I don't know why. I know the subject but it seems that I lock up every time I get into the exam and I can't remember anything. <laughs> really, really interesting one and it is interesting as I say because it, it reminds me of various things in my own life. I was hopeless at exams. I think I probably still am but there's a reason for that. I imagine for a moment that you've got three brains. This here is your clever thinking brain, your cortex. It's the human you. It's the bit that does maths and rational logical thought and language in there. There's another bit down, the, probably the biggest bit of your brain actually, which is the, your emotional brain. And then there's a, there's a, there's a bit about so big, um, which called your amygdala, without getting too technical. And it is in charge of your fight or flight or freeze response. And if you get performance anxiety in some way, um, or if you've got a phobic reaction to certain situations, this bit gets switched off and it gets hijacked by all the emotional stuff. What, what, and, and it's a very common phenomenon, isn't it, that we're very, very well aware of. I had to go and give a speech recently and there was a, 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 a posh black tie dinner before it. And I took along my wife and um, my, the, the, a lovely lady who's a professor who's taught me a huge amount about psychology over the years. And... Um, for some odd reason, I had to give a speech. I can't remember what it was. And I, I have known both these ladies, my wife and this psychology professor for a long, long time. And I hate giving public speeches to huge numbers of people. And a really interesting thing happened. I walked in, they'd never met, and I went to introduce them to each other. And I couldn't remember either of their names. You can imagine the trouble I was in when I got home. However... I know I knew what had happened. My 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 thinking brain um, had been switched off by my emotional brain. More to the point, the indexing system for my memory had been flooded and, and switched off by the amount of cortisol, the stress neurotransmitter, going round inside. So what we have to do for you is to discover ways to help you calm down. There's a really simple breathing. Um, trick that you can do which and, and if you think of it as diluting the cortisol you think of it as turning down your emotional brain and switching on your your thinking brain elsewhere on this channel just look up um, uh, uh, 711 breathing I, I, I think it was one of the the first two or three um, videos that I did on this channel and I promise that will help you but if you could don't do this now but if you could, at some point, sit down quietly, close your eyes and just imagine yourself walking into the exam room. But don't imagine that you are doing it. Imagine that you are watching yourself on a TV doing it. Imagine you're, that you can see this TV and there's you walking into the exam room. There's you, you know, writing answers. There's you confidently walking out with a smile on your face. And then, after you've done that a couple of times, Sit down quietly, find a quiet corner, close your eyes and imagine walking into that exam room. Imagine just doing that exam. Imagine feeling all the tension go out of your body when you do that breathing trick. And then imagine feeling good. Imagine walking out thinking that you gave a really good account of yourself in the exam. Imagine getting the results of the exam. You did well. This is not about the power of positive thinking to get you through an exam. You need to study, you need to work hard, you need to SWAT. But then you need to be able to access your calm thinking brain in order to do well in that exam. And I, I wish you luck with that. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, hit that little bell and um, we'll tell you when the next video is coming up. Thanks very much for, for watching. One last but really important thing. Please take really good care of each other and take good care of yourself.